Hi, welcome back with our movie explanation. Today, I'm going to explain an animated film called Coco. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The story opens up with Miguel telling the stories of his ancestors and the story goes like this. There's a family, there's a mother and a father and a daughter in that family. The father had a big dream of being a musician one day. He leaves home to fulfill his dream of becoming a musician and he never comes back home. After that, the mother gets angry and starts to hate music and all the musicians in the world. She throws out all the musical instruments that are in the house. She even throws out all the photos of the father out of the house. After that, she starts a new life by learning how to make shoes for a living. She teaches her daughter how to make them too. She also teaches her daughter's husband how to make shoes and making shoes becomes her family business. The mother thinks that music has broken her family. The mother in the story was Miguel's great-grandmother, Imelda, and her daughter's name Coco, she's Miguel's great-grandmother. Mama Coco has become very old and she forgets a lot of things, but Miguel likes to spend time with Mama Coco. As the story goes forward, we can see Miguel's grandmother, who looks like his great-grandmother, Coco. Miguel's grandmother doesn't like music, just like Miguel's great-great-grandmother, Imelda, she doesn't like any type of music. Making shoes supports Miguel's family financially, but Miguel is different. He likes music and wants to be a musician, just like Ernesto de la Cruz, who was a great musician. De la Cruz started doing music and became famous with his songs. Eventually, he started acting and became even closer to the audience. He was the greatest musician of his generation. He died accidentally in 1942, when he was doing a concert because a huge bell fell on his head. Miguel thinks that he can relate to De La Cruz in many ways as he was his idol after all. One day, while Miguel was polishing a musician's shoes, he tells him how he wants to become a musician one day. After hearing this, the musician hands his guitar to Miguel. Before he plays music on the guitar, his grandmother comes furiously and yells at him for doing it and takes him back home. After going home, Miguel's grandma tells his parents that he was polishing a musician's shoes. They get angry at Miguel for doing that. Miguel tells his parents that he wants to play music in the competition held at the plaza. They tell Miguel to give up on his dream and stop thinking about music. Grandma gives a flower bouquet to Miguel and tells him that today is Dia de los Muertos, which means the Day of the Dead, and takes him to the Room of Offerings and tells him that today is the only day in a year on which their ancestors come to meet them from their heavens. They place all the photos of their ancestors in the ofrenda so that their ancestors can come see them. But one photo in which Miguel's great-great-grandpa was supposed to be torn and his face can't be seen because his great-great-grandma Imelda tore it. After this, Miguel tries to leave the room slowly, but grandma tells him that it is time for him to learn how to make shoes. Grandma thinks that by making Miguel learn how to make shoes, he will quit thinking about music. Somewhere in the house, Miguel hides all the things that are related to music, and the pictures of De La Cruz goes there, and he prays that he wants to be a great musician like De La Cruz. The street dog Miguel is friends with comes too. Miguel is in the room where he hides the stuff of music. After that, Miguel watches the videos of De La Cruz and practices how to play music. The name of the dog is Dante. He takes Dante and comes out of the room. Then suddenly, because of Dante, great-great-grandma Imelda photo breaks by falling on the ground. After this, Miguel notices that the guitar his great-great-grandma was holding in the picture matches with the guitar De La Cruz has. That is when Mama Coco points her finger at the photo and says, Papa. By seeing all this, Miguel starts to believe that De La Cruz is his great-great-grandpa. After knowing this, Miguel runs onto the roof and screams, I am De La Cruz's great-great-grandson, and music is in my blood. I love music. After this, the whole family is disappointed with Miguel and yells at him. His grandmother breaks the guitar he has in his hands. Miguel runs from there in anger. Miguel goes to the plaza to participate in the talent show, but he has no guitar, so he goes to De La Cruz's tomb and tries to take the guitar, which is placed there. But after playing the guitar at the tomb, Miguel disappears and no one is able to see him. Miguel is scared and runs all over the place, but still no one notices him being there. It's like he turned into a ghost. After this, only his dog Dante and other spirits were able to see him. Miguel goes to the spirit world manager and asks him to send him back to the real world. The manager tells him that he needs blessings from one of his dead family members to return to the real world. If he can't go back today, he won't be able to go to the real world ever again. Mama Imelda tells him that she will bless him and sends him back but on one condition, that he never ever plays music again. He agrees to it and goes back to the real world, but again, he breaks his promise immediately and brought back to the land of the dead. Seeing this, Mama Imelda gets angry. Miguel runs outside in the spirit world. There, he meets another spirit named Hector, who wants to go see his family in the real world, but he does not have permission because no one remembers how he looks and his photos are not available in the real world. Then, Hector and Miguel make a deal. Hector asks Miguel to put his photo that he has in his pocket in the real world and he will find out a way to send into the real world and let him play music. After this, 
Miguel sees Della Cruz's spirit playing music in a concert and goes there. He paints a skeleton on his face so that no one will be scared of seeing a real boy in the spirit world. When Miguel goes to the concert, he meets Della Cruz and tells him that he is his great great grandson and wants his blessings to go back home. Just when Della Cruz was about to bless Miguel to go back home, Hector comes there and accuses Della Cruz of being a fraud. He says that Dela Cruz had all his songs written by me and never wrote a song on his own. He never gave Hector the credit he deserved. After this, Hector asks for his photo that Dela Cruz had taken from him. Hector says he doesn't want to fight, he just wants his photo, and that photo will help him go see his daughter. Then Dela Cruz reminds Hector of the day Hector died, that they had a drink and had fun. After that, he died but Miguel had seen a scene in Dela Cruz's movie where a guy kills De La Cruz by poisoning his drink. Miguel understands instantly that De La Cruz poisoned Hector and killed him. Listening to this, Hector comes to punch De La Cruz. As the story progresses, De La Cruz doesn't give Miguel the blessing to go home, thinking if he goes back, he would ruin his reputation in the real world, and tells his goon to put Miguel in the confinement along with Hector. After seeing Hector in that cave, Miguel feels happy, but he is trapped in that godforsaken place. After this, while talking to each other, Hector tells that his daughter's name is Coco. Miguel realizes that Dela Cruz isn't his great grandpa, but Hector is, and tells him that. In the next scene, Dante, Mama, and Melda find where Miguel is. With the help of the spirit animals in the ghost world, they call the spirit guards, and everyone has a spirit guard for themselves. Miguel meets his dead ancestors and tells everyone that Dela Cruz had killed Hector, and that is the reason he never returned home. Now, Miguel wants to take the photo of Hector that Dela Cruz has on him. Mama Imelda says she will help retrieve the photo from Dela Cruz. All the ancestors along with Miguel go to Dela Cruz's concert and fight with them to take back Hector's photo. Mama Imelda forgives Hector for leaving her and she now blesses Miguel back. But before the blessings are over, Dela Cruz interrupts them by capturing Miguel and threatens him that he will never go home. One of the ancestors turns the camera towards Dela Cruz and all of the people in the spirit world see the cruel side of Dela Cruz and start hating him. After this, Dela Cruz throws Miguel from the stage from a certain height. Then a spirit guard comes to his rescue and saves him. During the fall, Miguel loses Hector's photo while free falling. After this, Miguel promises Hector and Mama Imelda that he wouldn't let Mama Coco forget Hector. Miguel gets blessings and comes back to the real world and he goes running to Mama Coco with a guitar, but the grandmother tries to stop him. He escapes her and reaches Mama Coco. He sings the song Hector wrote for Coco and Mama Coco remembers how he looks and Hector is safe from being forgotten forever. After this, Miguel reveals the truth about De La Cruz to the world. Mama Coco dies and goes to the spirit world and meets Hector there. The film ends here. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And never forget, you are awesome.